What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about Mullen, that's M-U-L-N. Once again, that's Mullen, that's M-U-L-N. Guys, if you like the information and analysis that I'm providing in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get going. Mullen stock by the time of this recording is currently trading at $2.51. It's up 5.46% in the regular trading hours and still up 4.38% in the after hours. So, uh, if you guys might uh, if you guys might ask why did I make this video so uh, if we go back to uh, my uh, previous video uh, we got a article from Hindenburg research uh, the article states that uh, yeah the first uh, parts of the article is very interesting it says that Molin is an aspiring EV, EV manufacturer that came public in late 2021 by a reverse merger it has yet to produce a sellable vehicle the company stock has spiked uh, negative 316% in the past couple of months driven by retail investors euphoria over bold claims of ground breaking technology near term production of its EV vans and a, and a major as yet unnamed fortune 500 customer so in this article you can also see that despite only spending three million dollars in research and development in 2021 Mullen claims its solid state battery technology is on track for commercialization in 18 to 24 months putting it head ahead of every major technology and automaker uh, who have collectively invested billions on in solving the, the problem. Mullen recently pressed release an update on its battery testing, sending its stock soaring 145% in a day. In reality, the news appears to be a rehash of testing up the company had already announced in 2020. Mullen apparently misinterpreted the results according to the CEO of the company that performed the tests. Its CEO told us of Mullen's press release, We never would have said that. We never did say and certainly would have said it based on the results of testing that battery. So, uh, also there's a, uh, you know, in this article it says, In 2020, Mullen announced a joint venture to manufacture its solid-state battery technology. We spoke with a um, senior executive familiar with the supposed JV who told us it didn't exist at all. It was an apparent fabrication. He called Mullen CEO David Mishery fast talking and a hustler. Mullen's battery claims were based on technology license from a one year old Chinese battery technology company. After hyping the importance of uh, the relationship, Mullen made one payment under the deal and promptly terminated the relationship. The Chinese company's website no longer works. So, um, we're gonna. So, uh, these uh, statements are personally are bold and. Uh, they were actually a, a, a public this is a published article came out of Hindenburg research guys so um, also uh, in this article uh, let me read this again after uh, you know this is uh, uh, their disclosure after uh, extensive research we have spoken we have taken a short position in shares of Mullen Automotive Incorporated this report represents our position and we encourage every reader to do their own due diligence please see our full disclaimer at the bottom of the report okay so Guys, once again, this is a short selling report, and um, this was published. Uh, this was published uh, on April six. So at that time, um, as far as I can remember, the market is, uh, uh, you know, majority of the market is red, and uh, like I said, it's a good time to uh, make a report like this. Uh, at that time, I think the uh, stock is uh, it's not really tanking, but has slowed down. Uh, the momentum is uh, down, and uh, of course the. The, the you know uh, there's not a lot of real investors that uh, would like to uh, uh, keep on going and investing in the stock so as you can see the there's a lot of sellers at that time but okay on the good news is okay I'll pull out another article here for you that just came up yesterday so guys this article is uh, from uh, Business Insider so it says here that um, why is Mullen Automotive stock up today? It says here that uh, share of Mullen Automotive climbed as high as $2.77 per share today. And that was yesterday up 16% uh, from Thursday clo Thursday clo Thursday's close before declining shortly after. So it's not that much decline. Like I said a while ago, uh, the uh, stock itself is up during the day. So currently Mullen stock is recovering from a report released by a short seller Hinden Hindenburg Research. So it says here that specifically this short report claims that Mullen is involved in several misdeeds such as marketing China sourced electric vehicles as its own and falsifying claims of an advanced solid state battery. So uh, this is good against the uh, part of the article that I have read earlier. The firm claims EV Creed CEO Tom Gage 
uh, said Mullen has misinterpreted the, the test results. The short seller quotes Gage, we never would have said that. We did say it and certainly wouldn't have say said it based on the results of testing that battery. So uh, uh, today it says here that uh, BitNile uh, CEO Milton Todd Alt III released an interview video with Tom Gage. What's more, before uploading the video with Gage, Alt released another video disclosing that BitNile had invested in Mullen privately through a subsidiary that still remains invested in the EV company. So if uh, you go to his tweets uh, way back uh, March 26, uh, this was the time when they uh, visited the uh, Mullen headquarters. It says here that uh, when we visited Mullen headquarters, we got this video on one of the original cars Mullen made. So that's the car. I thought everyone would enjoy seeing it. Uh, Nile owns Mullen, shares uh, of Mullen through a subsidiary, electric vehicles, not a solicitation to buy or sell anything. So going back to the article, in the interview, Gage confirmed that EV Grid tested uh, Mullen's battery in one cycle. In February, Mullen reported that its solid-state polymer cells could have potential to deliver 600 plus miles of range. Gage elaborated, the 600 mile number is a number that depends on how big the car is, how uh, the how big the, car, the battery is, and how efficient the drivetrain and aerodynamics are. So it's quite possible to do it. Until it's done under observed conditions, you don't really know what they're talking about. But if you put enough battery in a car, it can go 600 miles. Gage later on went to clarify that Mullen provide EV grid with 343 amp hour capacity battery that was very large in physical size. The EV grid CEO also mentioned that the capacity is legit. All told, Gage, is, Gage confirmed that Mullen's representations of its battery are correct. Gage explained that Hindenburg may have misquoted him because he had some trouble remembering the details at that time. Finally, Gage stated that EV Grid is open up to testing out additional Mullen batteries in the future. Mullen stock closed up the day by more than 5%. So, guys, I have watched the interview myself, although the uh, reception is choppy due to the location of Gage. Uh, I think he is in a racetrack up in a. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't really say the place, but yeah, um, the uh, interview is legit, and uh, so I, I read this article, uh, and it was posted in Markets uh, Business Insider. Okay, so that's uh, Markets Business Insider. So, um, and also, uh, please take note that uh, uh, that is not an official uh, press release. So, um, every everybody is still waiting to hear back from. Uh, uh, Mullen, uh, the, the Mullen as a company themselves. So um, at this point, I am uh, pretty excited. So as you can see, as soon as uh, uh, the the interview, you know, this is just my opinion. As soon as the uh, interview is released, uh, uh, the uh, retail investors started uh, flacking back up uh, in the stock, and uh, the the shares or uh, the stock price uh, started climbing up uh, intraday yesterday. Um, and I, I find that interesting. So. Uh, Yep, uh, ahead of next week, uh, definitely I could tell personally that, uh, you know, uh, people are still talking about uh, Mullen Automotive as a company, as a stock, right? Uh, it's still a popular topic that people are talking about over over Twitter, over Reddit, over StockWit. So, uh, like I said, uh, Nile is uh, connected uh, to uh, Mullen through shares and, uh, you know, Todd Milton Alt as a uh, you know, CEO of the company of Nile is uh, very popular as well. And uh, although the interview itself is not very impressive, I could say that um, he did a good job, right? He did a good job in uh, protecting his investment as uh, uh, there that the Mullen company has an investment. So uh, I find it really cool. Like I said, we're still waiting to hear back from Mullen what they have to say. So uh, guys, what are we expecting with Mullen ahead of next week? So looking, looking at my chart here, um, um, Ahead of next week, uh, as you can see, your RSI is cooling off, uh, which means that we have a, a lot of room to the upside. Um, even the stochastics, uh, that's one of my indicators. I'm, I'm not sure uh, uh, if uh, everyone uses that too, but that's one of my indicators. Um, um, it looks to me that uh, your uh, this blue line uh, is about to go up and uh, we're cooling off as well. So once this start, starts going up, so we could have another potential to the upside. Okay, so in this uh, in day, our daily time frame, we could uh, clearly see that uh, around uh, around this area, two dollars and forty cents, uh, just a little bit over that, that should be our support. And uh, 
and uh, we are currently hovering in that area our next resistance will be th at that three dollar area and you can clearly see that in the chart so we've been going up i mean we've been starting to go down uh since uh monday right uh last week or this yeah since, since uh tuesday last week or and uh i think uh it's about time that uh we uh, test the next uh, our uh, resistance which is three dollars uh, and right after that we can start talking about four dollars in your 15 minutes time frame okay uh we can clearly see that uh, your vwap is right above your 50 ema so that's here and uh your vwap is right underneath your uh, 200 EMA so we're still waiting uh, for a movement uh, on the upside so uh, I uh, think that's coming up next week uh, as so we await for uh, more retail retail investors to start piling up um, in the uh, in the stock so uh, next the next week will uh, be pretty exciting it will be a pretty exciting week again for Mullen uh, stock you can see here even in the 15 minute time frame your uh, uh, RSI is uh, still in the neutral and you can also clearly see here that you're in your stochastics that your blue uh, is right or is right above your brown okay so uh, that's a good sign right there that uh, uh, we are in upward momentum okay so in the 15 minute time frame you can clearly see that our next resistance will be around two dollars and 70 cents or two dollars and 68 cents right and we are making a support here finally I hope it has found its uh, uh, bottom okay uh, so and uh, we uh, start moving with our leg up so the support here is around two dollars and 43 cents we have another support at two dollars and 19 cents okay so i was ho i'm hoping i'm really hoping i'm a, a mullet investor that we no longer go back there and we can continue our rally on the upside so guys if you have any questions regarding this stock uh, please feel free to comment in the comment section below of this video um once again, if you like the information and analysis that I'm providing in this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Once again, this is your boy, Don Leo Trades. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.